Hello! In this part one of a two-part series, I'll be showing you how to add chapters to your single-player Half-Life 2 mod. So if you've been following along, on your main menu here, you click New Operation, it shows the basic Half-Life 2 chapters. If you try to start it, nothing happens. If you open up the console, you can see it tried to load the first Half-Life 2 map but since we don't have that map, it didn't load. So, to start off, I have a map here I made ahead of time. I call it map underscore 01. And we need to add it as the first map of the chapter here. So, we need to go to CFG, chapter 1. Bring that over here on this screen. Change that map 01. Save it. Now, if we launch, click start new game, map loads up. But, as you can see, we hit abort here. Launch it again. Oh, there we go. Just probably noticed when I launched it before. Uh, this stuff is still all wrong. So how do we fix that? Well, we first need to change the localization file. And that's located under resource. We're looking for the English files. Half-Life 2 English. So this is the default one. We need to rename that to our mod name there. So in this case it's Counter Operations. And it needs to match that name up there. If you open it up, you get this. And I highly recommend you open it up in Notepad++ because the encoding on it is for UCS-2L, not 2, dash 2 little, I don't know how to pronounce that word, Indian? In, in, Indian? Hmm. Anyway, so as you can see right here, this is where it's trying to pull our titles from. So we need to change that to the name of our mod. And we can change the name of it. We'll call it, uh, First contact, how about, save that, close it, next we need to fix the on screen titles, which can be found in the scripts folder, in the, where is it, yeah, titles, right here. So if we go scroll down here, chapter titles, Half-Life 2 Chapter 1, Counter Operations, Chapter 1 title. And you would do these for the rest of these, but just for this tutorial, I'm just going to do the first one, you can do the others. And so now, if we launch it, New operation. There you go. Chapter one, first contact. But we still have this picture of the train station. And that's not our map. So let's fix that. It uses, and I'm going to use uh, paint.net for this. I'll include a link in the uh, description if you want to download it. It's a free program. It uses a 152 to 86 area for the image. So let's, I'm going to go ahead and uh, dye this black and call it chapter one. I'll put that right there. Now we can't save it as this file size or image size rather 
because source only works in powers of 2 and 152 by 86 is not anywhere near being a power of 2. So what you want to do is you want to come in here, make sure this is in the upper left corner, not the middle, upper left corner, change this to 256 by 128, click OK, and it expands it. You won't see this area right here, you'll just see this upper left corner. So we're going to save this, and we're going to put it in Steam Apps, Source Mods, Counter Operations, Materials, New Folder, DGY. And I believe the next one is Chapters. And we're going to call it Chapter 1. Save it. OK. Close that. There's chapter 1 right there. And next we're going to open up BTF Edit, File, Import, Chapter 1. Make sure that is unchecked. We don't want MIT maps. We don't want normal maps. And we don't want LO levels of detail. And you can use the same settings as I do if you want. Save, Chapter 1, Tools. Create VMT, change this to an unlit generic, vertex alpha 1, click create, save, close, close, launch. And there you go, we got our new image there. Actually, if you uh, click that, get our uh, symbol level I made right here. Yep, there's that. Now then, as you probably noticed when playing Half-Life 2 and other source mods, the background can change on the main menu depending on what chapter you are on. You can change this in the scripts folder. I think it's called chapters, chapter backgrounds. And these are the names of the maps in your maps folder to use for each chapter. So if you're on chapter 1, use background 01. If you're on chapter 8, use background 04, and so on. And I believe the max chapters you can have is 100. Um, now there is an issue with the game right out of the gate in that does not know how to properly unlock chapters because Valve has it set up so that it, by default, it's only looking for maps of the name that follow the Half-Life 2 uh, file naming convention. In fact, if you just name, if you want to not bother with the programming of it, you can just rename all your maps to the same names as Valve's maps and it'll unlock the chapters appropriately, but you probably don't want to bother with that. And so we're going to cover that in the next tutorial is fixing up the code so that it'll look for your maps instead of the basic Half-Life 2 ones. And it will also cover unlocking the chapters because right now if you add more maps to this, you can't unlock it. There's ways you can hackish around it a little with uh, some hammer logic, but it's Probably you probably don't want to do that because it can backfire and you can have someone maybe unlocking two chapters at once if they play the same section twice in a row. Things like that. Um, one last thing is let's see. 
you can make a map list right here. Map list.txt. Minus that over there. And you can put your maps here. That way it'll uh, properly fill up the console when someone is looking for the map listing. They want to change maps just by uh, whoop, underscoring that. There we go. Sorry if you can't see that, it's on my other monitor. But yeah, that's basically it for part one. Um, I'll try and get out part two as soon as possible, which will cover how to fix up the code a little. If you want to go ahead and do that before the video is made, look up this on the Vel developer community. I haven't tested the code yet, so you know, do it at your own risk. A lot of this code's probably outdated. They changed some things when they switched over to 2013, but from what I saw of it, it looked like it should work the same. But yeah, that should do it for this uh, tutorial. See you next time.